traitor on Trump's team about to get his butt kicked after it's found out what he did overnight, in the world of business, it's pretty easy to see where people's allegiances will lie, you can just about bet your bottom dollar that people will do whatever will increase the number of greenbacks in their pocket. In politics though, some things get a little bit more complicated. Not only is there a layer of human interest on top of the money, but there are those who pretend that they've got human's interest in mind, but are still just after the almighty dollar. President Trump has done a pretty good job of transitioning from the landscape of business to that of politics, but from time to time, it's gotta come as a surprise the way these career politicians will bury a knife in your back. Especially those that aren't staunchly in the Republican camp, can show some seriously mixed allegiances. The president has been struggling with who to keep and who to evict from the previous administration, and in some cases, they've made the choice easy for him. One less than obvious choice was the president's director of the National Economic Council, Gary Cohn. Cohn has a history in the private sector, but took the position on the president's team, and his trust along with it. Via Business Insider, Gary Cohn, the director of the National Economic Council and former president of Goldman Sachs, is enjoying his new role as an increasingly influential advisor to President Donald Trump, but he says Washington is a S show, according to a Thursday Washington Post report. The White House has been consumed by increasingly visible drama between warring camps led by Trump's more moderate son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and Trump's chief strategist, Steve Bannon, an anti-Wall Street economic nationalist. Cohn is reportedly working to cut through Washington drama and politics to enact his agenda of reforming the tax code, crafting an infrastructure plan, cutting financial regulations, and renegotiating international trade agreements. He has hired about two dozen policy experts to help him develop these plans, according to the Post. Cohn, who received a $285 million payout when he left Goldman to advise Trump on domestic and global economic policy in January, may have moved to Washington, but he's maintaining his ties to Wall Street. He recently had drinks at the Four Seasons with Goldman CEO Lloyd Blankfein, according to The Post. Kushner, Cohn, and Dina Powell, a former Goldman colleague, appear to be behind Trump's recent shifts toward a more moderate economic agenda. The love affair between President Trump and his economic adviser might be over soon though, considering how recent events have shown what Cohn is really in support of. The president may consider this to be one of those knives that he's going to have to pull out of his back when the full effect of these actions settle on Washington. Via Got News, White House Chief Economic Advisor Gary Cohn a liberal, registered Democrat, and former Goldman Sachs executive killed a proposal that included crowdfunding the Mexico border wall with wall bonds, Got News can exclusively confirm through multiple sources. Cohn fretted that a decision to use wall bonds to finance the border wall with private funds would upset House Speaker Paul Ryan and Congress. In fact bonds are perfectly constitutional. In March, Alaska Republican Congressman Don Young proposed that the government could sell bonds to finance the wall, and offer public financiers 2.5% interest. According to public records from the New York State Board of Elections, Cohn's registration as a Democrat is still active Tuesday. Cohn left his role as Goldman Sachs chief operating officer in January to join the Trump administration. Goldman is coming come under fire for its purchase last week of $2.8 billion in bonds propping up the regime of Venezuelan socialist dictator Nicolas Maduro. And NBC San Diego reports, the prototypes and designs for Trump's border wall will be laid out in San Diego, and while there's a lot of talk, there's been no bipartisan discussion or reform. Cracking down on immigration is a cornerstone of the administration, and while they have made some strides in that effort, Congress as a whole has not addressed the issue. Before the border wall plans can move forward Congress has to approve funding for the project, which could cost around $67 billion, according to a projection from Senate Democrats. San Diego State University police science professor James Ingram says if Trump plans to build the wall now is the time to do it. It kinda seems like if you take a job on the president's team, you should probably support his policies. There are a few things that people might be able to say could have been campaign rhetoric, but anyone who lived between the shining seas knows that the president was, and is, dead serious about that border wall. If his promises weren't enough, 
he's had a pretty serious run-in with the Mexican president about the funding for said wall. If President Trump were going to back down, it seems like that would have been the time to do it. Hey, if this former big shot wants to take on the president, it's his funeral, but pop your popcorn and make no mistake, the show is just beginning. Source, Got News, Business Insider, share if you think the border wall is a great idea. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.